Hello everybody and welcome to my monthly Vietnam update. Investors were taken by surprise about the faster than expected Fed fund rate rise in June and hence global markets weakened again. Also the Vietnam index lost minus 7.3% in June and our portfolio declined by 3.9% according to internal estimates. The Vietnam index started to recover mid of May but in June it again tested 12 months low and seems to have formed a bottom for now. The reasons for June's correction has mainly to do with the nervousness of investors about the faster than expected Fed fund rate increase in June of 75 basis points. The US is faced with the highest inflation in more than 40 years and the Federal Reserve has once again turned up the heat taking its most aggressive stance since 1994 in an attempt to curb inflation. As we mentioned in our previous report, the compelling macroeconomic picture and long-term uptrend for Vietnam remains attractive. Hi, my name is Andreas Vogelsanger. I'm the CEO of the AFC Vietnam Fund. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and switch on the bell so we don't miss any uploads. Vietnam fares very well when compared to other countries in terms of public debt levels. According to the IMF, Vietnam's government debt to GDP ratio was 40.2% at the end of last year, well below the government's cap of 60%. In the six year period between 2016 and 2021, Vietnam's public debt to GDP has decreased significantly. The sound fiscal policy, together with prudent monetary policy, makes Vietnam fit for the post-COVID-19 crisis area. This paves the way uh, for the country's powerful repositioning. Inflation might be the concern that global investors pay the most attention to. Inflation certainly rose dramatically over the past few months in Europe and in the US. However, in Vietnam, it is still well under control. CPI, so the inflation, reached 2.4% in June uh, 2022, still far below the government ceiling of 4% this year. Food and foodstuffs plays the most important part of the CPI basket, with a weighting of 33.6%, Meanwhile, oil and petroleum contribute only 4% in the basket. Vietnam has a large and important agriculture sector, producing rice, seafood, meat and other foodstuff, and it is self-sustainable in terms of domestic food demand. Vietnam is also able to export a lot of agriculture products and it is the second largest rice exporter in the world. Food prices in Vietnam only increased by 0.89% year on year in the first half of 2022. At the same time, fuel, oil and petroleum with a 3.6% weighting in the CPI basket already increased by 57% year on year. Vietnam is a net importer of oil, even though it explores for its own oil in the South China Sea. The ADB, Asian Development Bank, and HSBC both have a 2022 inflation forecast for Vietnam of 3.5% in 2022, given its low weighting of oil and petroleum in the CPI basket. The price of its rice is the most important item in the CPI basket. And hence, rising prices would create a lot of pressure on inflation. But fortunately, the situation is well under control and Vietnam produces enough rice for domestic consumption and is actually an exporter of rice. Vietnam produces enough fertilizers, rare for domestic consumption, which also helps to contain rising rice prices. We therefore believe that inflation will be well under control and manageable in Vietnam. Hi, I hope you enjoyed my monthly update and you're gonna hear from me again next month. Bye bye.